If you've been an amateur radio operator for more than a couple of weeks, by now you're familiar with the Baofeng UV5HT. Everybody has owned one or two or five of these things at some point or another. They're inexpensive, they work pretty well, and they're good to have in an emergency. Well, there are some differences in the models and variations other than just cosmetic differences, and I want to talk about one of those right now. The battery that comes in these radios, they're all BL5s, which is an 1800 milliamp battery. Pretty good for a couple of days if all you're going to do is listen. If you're going to transmit, it'll probably wear your battery out in a day, give or take. So there's a solution, which is this guy, the Baofeng BL5L 3800 milliamp battery. And it's a great little battery. Great. It really, really makes that UV5 last a long time. There's something we need to point out. You see that little trapezoidal molded socket at the base of the battery? Right there. That fits some models and not others. So before you go out buying this battery, and this trapezoid, of course, has four sides, before you go out buying a battery, it doesn't have to be camo, they make these in black and other, other variations. Take a look at the base of your radio. If you have a UV5R, look, there's the trapezoidal socket right there. So that BL5L extended range battery is going to slide right into there and fit. If you have a UV5RA, which looks a lot like the UV5R, the extended battery is not going to work. Instead of a trapezoid, it's got a six-sided socket, and it's got some kind of, I don't know, some kind of molding plug or something in here. It doesn't do anything except take up space. And it absolutely prevents the BL5L from fitting this radio. So UV5RA, the extended battery, the BL5L is not going to work. UV5R, it's going to work great. It's going to give you several days of use, even transmitting. One other thing about the extended battery, it's got a little socket at the top where you can plug in a wall wart powered cord without having to use the charge base. So you can carry a charger and charge it up in the car. Very nice. Those are the, that's an important difference between two versions of the UV5 radio. Won't go, will go, that's the difference.